Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 2. In our last episode, we did some grinding, and uh, we'll probably do a little bit more grinding later, so I can summon Tawa Rat. Until then, we gotta go report back to Madam that our uh, mission was kind of a bust. Trust me on this, we'll be back here anyway. steps without running into a demon encounter. Yeah, if you're actually uh, interested in power grinding, that highway up there is very good for power grinding, especially if you run into any Impusa. Usually groups of two or three Impusa drop at least 200 to 100 uh, experience. Alright, here we go. Alright, madam. Good news, bad news. I apologize for keeping you waiting, Sir Hawk. I shall let madam know that you are here. Well then, it's time for me to say farewell. We couldn't bring Hanetta back alive, but you're a pretty tough one. I like you, kid. Hope we'll meet again. Oh, there's that. Thank you for your efforts. I thought you would be able to bring Hanetta back alive. I'm a bit disappointed, but what's done is done. Hey! Don't blame me for that one. Hanada botched the demon summoning. That's on him. By the way, someone is here to see you. He's a messenger from the center. Oh joy. So you're Hawk, the new champion. Think. Remember your true name. Your name is... Oh boy, one of these. So, you've awakened. Whether or not you choose to be a servant of God, or an agent of the demons, either way, it's a great gamble. A gamble on which the fate of all humanity rests. Here we go again. So, it is now time. Identify yourself as you will. Our default name, because I don't want to, uh... Because I don't want to go any further to too lawful. Our name is Aleph. Our name was never Hawk. You've chosen a good name. Aleph! How about it? Has it come back to you? My name is Zayn. Oh boy. I couldn't have picked a better name for you. Oh well. I've been searching for you for quite a long time. 
Excuse me. You might not remember it, but you were originally a resident of the center. Meaning we did all of that with Red Bear for nothing. Hiroko, you've been ordered to return to the center. The two of you should come with me. We're going back to the center. Oh, great. My, this is a surprise. To think you already were a center citizen all along. Yeah. Can I change that and come work here instead? I don't want anything to do with these messiah assholes. What a shame. You wouldn't have had to go to all that trouble risking your life in the Colosseum, had you known. This isn't the sort of place that you belong in. Oh. Hurry and return to the center. Or should I say, you finally returned. Ah, oh, great. In any case, I'm overjoyed to see that you are both alright. I bet you are. Here, this ID card is yours. At last I can give it to its rightful owner. I bet you say that to everyone who comes to the center. We got the resident ID card. Joy. As for you, Hiroko, you should have known better than to run off like that. Oh, come on now. The Temple Knights are our most glorious and prestigious order. And yet, the last guy who was our main character plowed through them like they were mooks. And it does not look well upon us when one of them decides to arbitrarily leave the center like that. I would like a full explanation from you in a moment. Guards, could you escort Hiroko inside to my office? Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. <sighs> Thanks so much for all your help, Aleph. It's too bad we never were able to find that little boy. But I appreciate your sticking to your neck out for me like that. I hope I'll see you again. Well then, Aleph, welcome back to the center. Right before you were kidnapped and brought from the center, Makata erased your memories. As a result, you remember neither your true identity, nor the divine mission that was bestowed upon you. Oh no, you're gonna lay this on me? I bet you tell this to everyone that comes along. Aleph, you are to become our safe. No, 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 and, uh, no. I'm not a friggin' messiah. He's not the messiah, he's a very naughty boy. Or at least I will be if I ever get a chance to run into a Lilum. Your birth was a fulfillment of the ancient prophecy foretold by John in the Book of Revelations. Uh-huh. You have any idea just how long ago that was made? Even... Even that guy, who's probably long since dust by now, is probably giving himself a really good face palm and going, No. 
No, 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 that's not how it goes. You are destined to become the Messiah. You know... Bet you ten bucks that not only are you wrong, but uh, he looks a little different. Looks like an emo boy with uh, blue hair who has always got his headphones on and doesn't want to talk to anyone and certainly wouldn't want anything to do with you. You have been given wondrous powers with which you can bring salvation to the people of the world. Bullshit. You are full of it. I don't have magic powers. I won't. I am a main character of the first two Shin Megami Tensei games. Well, I'm in the second one. We don't get magic powers. In fact, we don't get magic powers until Shin Megami Tensei 3, which is a long time coming. And now that I say that, I'm instantly going to be a magnet for Lilith. Yay me. Yeah, that's the guards leaving and snickering. Good lord, what a fancy. In the past, a great city known as Tokyo once stood upon this land. And we bombed the shit out of it. And by we, I mean the messiahs, not, not the United States. Well, yes, it, it's complicated. But was destroyed in a cataclysmic war that the messiahs started. From the ashes of the city, we built a new city, this millennium. Sailor Moon called, she's going to sue. Millennium's purpose is to actualize the Thousand Year Kingdom. You realize who you sound like, right? I'm not gonna say it because that is automatically a bad thing. An age where the people will live in peace forever. Boring. It's not only boring, it's impossible. That's a utopia. It literally means no pe no place. It's not gonna happen. And in order for Millennium to truly become the Thousand Year Kingdom, we needed a messiah to guide us. And you picked us to be your patsy. Man, you guys have got some really, really low standards. And so, you were born. In you, God himself has given unto us a savior. <coughs> Bullshit! Bullshit! To aid you in this, your most holiest of missions. That also gave us one that would be a fitting partner for the one who would become the Messiah. Beth, you may enter. Welcome back. Or so I'd like to say, but you don't remember me. Or this place, do you? Or Aleph. But don't worry, I'm with you now, and will remain so from now on. Uh, I've mixed feelings about this. You'll soon start to remember things you've forgotten. A little bit at a time. And will eventually return to your old self. What if I don't want to? And I'll never leave your side. Ever. Beth joined the party. Aleph, there is a dire situation in the Holy Town District. King Frost has frozen over the entire area with his powerful ice magic. King Frost, huh? Not your average run-of-the-mill Jack Frost. And if that weren't enough, Basilisk is also rampaging there, breathing thick 
clouds of its deadly toxic breath throughout the entire district, claiming many innocent lives. Please save the people of Holy Town. Go into the western exit from the center. If you enter the passcode 0352 in the security door there, you can enter Holy Town. Oh boy, passcodes. <sighs> Nothing here. Nothing here. All right, we may as well uh, check out Beth. And we now have one slot in our demon party. Oh! Well! Beth has quite the, uh, hehe. <laughs> quite the good stats from, uh, Hiroko. She's not Cerberus. But, she's certainly got, got it where it counts. Alright, here we go. Now where do we go here? I think it's 20 floor. center is friggin' huge. Nothing here. Yeah, watch as I get lost here. big is this place? Big enough to have its own terminal. Now there's absolute... Oops. 
Ah, there I go again. I'll be right back.